in this tutorial we will learn about introduction to functions so function is a block of code that performs a specific task so in programming we might have number of tasks to be done and there might be some thousands of lines of code but in order to properly arrange them we divide the entire complex problem into small small subtasks and each one of them is called a function so dividing a complex problem into smaller chunks makes our program easy to understand and reuse and in c language we can divide any large program into small basic building blocks known as functions and the functions are always enclosed between curly braces the main advantage of function is if i write a function one time it can be called multiple times again to increase its reusability and provide modularity to the c program for example if you want to perform addition you can write an addition program one time and you can call it multiple times again and again with different input arguments so thereby you need not write the code ag again and again it will save you time it will reduce the code length and it will also reduce the memory required to save it so in other words we can say that a collection of function creates a program so these are the main building blocks which actually create a large program and function is also known by the name of procedure or subroutine in other programming language and these are the advantages of function first advantage is we can avoid rewriting the same logic again and again in the program and we can call any c function multiple number of times and from any place in a program we can track a large c program easily when it is divided into multiple functions and the main advantage is the reusability of the functions so i will write a code and also show you that how we can declare a function one time and call it again and again so any function consists of three main critical components so first one is function prototype next one is function calling and third one is function definition so one by one let us see three of them so first one is function prototype or function declaration so a function prototype or a declaration must be declared globally in a c program to tell the compiler about the function name function parameter and return type so this is usually declared near the header file after the standard input output header file below it you can write the function prototype so the first thing you need to write is return type means what it is going to return whether integer value or float value or character if it is not going to return anything you just write here void next thing you write is the name of the function so what is the name of the function you need to mention and the third thing you need to mention is what all input arguments it is going to take for example if i write a summation program i need minimum two numbers for addition so those two numbers will go as input argument the second important thing is function call so a function can be called from anywhere in the program the parameter list must not differ from the function calling and function declaration we must pass the same number of functions as it is declared in the function declaration so function calling refers to calling the program so that the pro whatever operation or task you want to do can be done and inside this the syntax is just write the name of the function and pass the argument list so and this argument list for example in this function prototype here if you have declared some two input arguments while calling also you should write two input arguments only don't write three arguments or four arguments whatever you have declared there same it has to match otherwise compilation error will come and last part is function definition so in this we it is the most important part in which we actually write the logic to perform the task so whatever task you want to do for example addition or multiplication or printing anything to the screen 
that piece of logic has to be written in the function definition so whenever we call any program we will jump directly to the function definition to execute that task and its syntax is also like this so first write return type then the function name followed by the argument list argument list refers to what all inputs are there into the program and return type refers to what is the output of that program so that data type you need to write so if the data type return is integer you need to write here int so let us take an example to learn about function reuse concept using a simple addition function so till now i was mentioning you about that we can reuse a function again and again instead of writing the program multiple times so let us understand that reusability concept so let us declare any random function to perform addition the return type here is void because the function is not returning anything then write the name of the function and then write the name of the two input arguments here i am declaring input arguments as a and b so this is our first important part in a function known as function prototype or it is also known as function declaration next you open your main function and here you can start calling the program directly so i can call add function and whatever numbers i want to add i can pass them here so you can call the program multiple number of times so let me call it four times and just change the input arguments so whatever first number i am writing that will go directly to this a place and whatever the second number i am writing that will go to b place so all this is referred to as function call function call just means that write the name of the function and pass the input arguments so we have done function prototype and function call now the only thing left is function definition so again write the void name of the function and input arguments and open curly braces here you write the logic to perform that addition so take one temporary variable called result in result you can uh, calculate the answer which is summation a plus b and next let us print the answer print f percentage d plus percentage d is equal to percentage d so replace first percentage d here with a value then plus symbol will be printed in screen then second person test d with b value and then equal to symbol will be printed and third person test d with result so this is a simple function definition so here you can write a comment as function definition function definition is where you write the logic of that function that how to calculate that task whatever you are doing so if you remember function definition it was a function is a piece of program which performs a specific task that task in this case happens to be addition of two numbers if you want to perform addition of three numbers just write here int b comma int c and just write a plus b plus c or if you want to perform any other task like multiplication then change plus 2 into or divide whatever task is there accordingly you need to modify the function so if you observe here i have just written addition program one time but i am using the same addition program multiple times by giving different input arguments so whatever these values i am passing 23 45 12 and 34 this is referred to as argument so the first number 23 whichever i give will go to this int a place and whatever next number 45 is there it will go to int b place and then 
I have inside the function declared one variable called int result. Result will calculate a plus b and finally the answer will be printed using this printf display statements. So let us compile the code and check our output. So if you observe here, whatever the numbers we passed 23, 45, 12 and 34, 56, 99, all the answers are printed here. So this is only called the reusability concept where you just write function one time but you use the same function again and again by different input arguments. So hopefully now you understood why functions are so much important and what are the different parts in a function. Thanks for watching.